little mini mic. Greatness. This is a good game. And you got to think, Tuan has a lot of momentum going into this one. He just got a W over McKinley status. And McKinley status is no slouch. This is the defending Detroit Lions club champion from this year. Very well-respected player. So for Tuan to be able to come back onto the scene and get a win over a player of that caliber, I cannot wait to see what he's bringing to the table. It looks like Mike's going to start on offense and Tuan on defense. Two incredibly, uh, two teams we've seen a lot today. Falcons, Chiefs. Look at those all blacks for the Atlanta Falcons. Black 58, it's right. tough. Black 58, right. Mini Mike starting off with the ball. And that trip's tight end, Nick. Mahomes. Quick hike by Michael. And he goes corner out. Oh, you saw, you saw Pretty Boy drop back with Tack McKinley trying to take away that corner route, but it's too much speed from Travis Kelsey. That was a good play by Michael. He got to the line of scrimmage, pretty much gave Twan no time to set up his defense, quickly snapped the ball, got the corner out for a big game. Hand off. Williams. He's going hurry up. Trying to keep the pressure on early. Let's get Tripp's tight end. Kelsey on the right side of the line. Mahomes looking deep, trying to take He's a shot. Him. He's got Hill over the top. trying to become the big Mike here at Dallas DreamHack. The brothers Valvano, his older brother, brother Venomenon already got out of his group. Mike playing with his life on the line in this group. Answers with a quick touchdown. And let's see how the grizzled veteran pretty boy is going to respond. Three plays, 75 yards, and a touchdown to the burner, Tyreek Hill. Let's go, Nick. This is the type of game I've been waiting for all day long. And I know Rico said he expects this one to be two-possession ball game. That's not what I'm expecting, Nick. I'm expecting a back-and-forth battle here. These are two hungry, hungry players with a little bit of history in an important group play game. 7-0 early. With 4.22 to go in the first quarter, can Pretty Boy respond? Setting up his offense. Look at him. He's... <laughs> Looks like Pretty Boy's coming out in single back trio. And the ho hoodied up right now. Twan's always been known to have a unique style of offense. I mean, you should have seen this guy back in 05, the way he would do the juke glitch. I mean, he, he would reverse it around field. He was running five wide with the Vikings, toss with Michael Bennett. He's always had a very unique style of play. Now second and one after that run with Devontae Freeman. Juan also got to represent Larry Fitzgerald in the first season of ESPN's Madden Nation. Well, when Larry Fitzgerald was still a young player out of Pittsburgh. Yeah, this was all the way back in 2006. Was Fitz's second year in the league, I want to say? Oh, nice play. Ooh, was that a little... Oh, good stick! Did we just see a... I don't think that was like a full screen, a but smoke looked screen? like a smoke screen out of a little hot route action. little custom custom play right there for Tuan. And I'll tell you, this single back trio is tough. You could run dive out of this. I believe he might have a toss or a stretch he can go to as well. Said he was going to probably run... We said if, he, if he's going to have a chance, got to run something a little different. He's running something different out of the single back trio set. And it makes a little more sense how he was able to beat McKinley status because you got to think a guy like McKinley status not used to seeing this single back trio. I'm sure Mike isn't used to it. So Tuan catching competitors off guard with a unique offense, and I love to see it. Good pocket. Mike's got defense. It eventually collapses. Great, big play right here for Tuan, third and six. Down seven, nothing, can he respond? Third down, Ryan waiting, Got him. looking, corner route. When in doubt, corner route, that's Tevin Coleman, who has been a beast. We've seen the Atlanta Falcons a lot, boy. Coleman at halfback, he is so good at receiving the ball. He's a receiving back for a reason, and Tevin with the play on the corner route now. 35-yard line. 
Pretty Boy looking to answer the early touchdown from Minnie Mike. Gonna flip the play. Put three wide receivers over to the left side. Hooper, the lone tight end in the game on the right side of that formation. Devontae Freeman in the backfield. Ryan dropping back to pass. Blitz picked up nicely. Nobody's home. He steps up in the pocket. He'll pick up one with Matt Ryan. Good defense right there from Michael. Twan trying to stay strong in the pocket. Just couldn't get anything open. And taking the sack, not a terrible move right there. If you don't have anything open, don't force it. Live to fight another down. That's what Twan did right here. He finds himself manageable second and nine. Even picked up a yard. Ryan. Dodge. Nice throw in the middle. That's Calvin Ridley. Down to the 11-yard line. Three for three, pass the ball. Here's 11 yards out from tying this ball game up. Might we be gifted with a good game here? Finally, a dream hack Madden. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams with you. Hand off, Devontae Freeman, no room right side. I told you this was going to be a good game, Nick. You don't have to even worry about that one. As soon as I saw that these two competitors were matched up, I praised the old gods and the new. I thanked the Lord because I knew we were going to have a good one. Second and nine from the 10-yard line. This still will be a game that will be over a seven-point difference. I'm not buying it, Rico. Buck 25 and counting the first quarter. Pretty boy looking to answer. Single back trio formation. It's interesting to see Tuan not go to the run yet. There it is. Right side. Stood up, picks up another three. Big third down, upcoming third and five. It's a big, big third and five right here. You got to assume if Tuan doesn't get this, he, he's likely going to have to Let's settle for three. three. Yeah. So this is a big play here early on. Get up! 20, 20. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Third down and five. See how fast the game goes by when both players are moving the ball? Oh, hand off oh, Freeman close to the first down marker. I think they got to give it to him. They don't. He's oh, just action. short. Fourth and inches. The hurry up is risky right here. Can Minnie Mike get the stop? You got to. Short, shorty's looking to shoot the gap with Murray. You got to assume Twan might call a timeout here. Yep, and There's go to the goal line. I you, like the call. You got to get yourself in goal line for inches. That's the savvy veteran in him. He knows that this play right here is worth a timeout, especially in the first half. You can't take him with you. He needs his play call. You got to tip your hat to him, not getting caught up in the moment. And he doesn't go to the goal line. I agree with you 100% there, Rico. Oddly enough, he doesn't go to the goal line. He's in the strong eye tight. The strong tight. Col Coleman's at fullback. I think that's where they're going. It's Coleman wow. into the end zone. Walks on in. And Touchdown for Pretty Boy. And now you can see the old school in him. I told you, how old was I? Fullback dive old on the goal line. <laughs> that's what it <laughs> was. He went straight old school on that. We're streaking in the quad. So let me get the chat involved real quick. We obviously got ourselves a good ball game in groups finally. Chat, who do you got? Give me a one for Pretty Boy. Give me a two for Mini Mike. We got ourselves a good one right here. I want to see where your heads are at. One for Pretty Boy, two for Mini Mike. Oh, how refreshing is it, boys? 30 seconds left in the first quarter. It's a 7-7 ball game. We got a, a close game here in wave number two. What do you think about Mike coming out in 3-3-5? Three, three, yeah, I saw Fitzmagic talk about that in the chat, and it's a very good point. Yeah, you figure on an inches situation on the goal line. What's up, nigger? Stupid nigger. Nigger, 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 nigger. Mental mistake right there. Nigga, 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 a six-point game. And you know what? Not one person in the chat gave me a two for Minnie. You might want to be seven. rethinking that now. Here's what I'm going to tell you. That has to take the air out of Tuan. He came back. He thought he tied this game up. He had the momentum, that big fourth down complete conversion. He gets it just to give up that play that way. That has to hurt. We got to see if he can put that behind him now and get this drop back together. Because otherwise... Things could get ugly. Yeah, there's nothing more frustrating. I, I can agree with that. 
When you put together a long, prolific drive, you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling crispy on the sticks, and then your opponent either returns a kick or hits you for a home run touchdown off rip, it's completely demoralizing. First and 10 play action play pass. Action. Looking down the field. Oh, that was a tight window. Incomplete pass. He's probably lucky that's not going the other way. Oh, definitely a tight window. It ended up being a my guy or no guy type throw, though. He got it over the defender. The defenders were behind Calvin Ridley. He still got his hands on it. There's too much traffic there for him to be able to hold on to it. Back to the run. As that was, that's the quintessential bad timing on the real player motion. You get that little, little stutter cut from Freeman. Quick throw left side. Misses it. We're going to go to the second quarter. It's a one-score game, but a fourth down upcoming for Pretty Boy. He's oh. looking, looking to get a little, little tricksy there. Big decision right here for Twan. He's going to go for this. He's from the old school. If you're from the old school, you go for it on fourth down. Here he goes. And for some of our more casual players that may be watching, I know there's some people from DreamHack watching, not as familiar with competitive Madden. Players often go for it in this situation. Over there, he's got a playmaker. RB. Got him. Oh, what a oh, user by in. Mini Mike. Look, that bad boy go the other way. And what I want to finish saying is players get aggressive in that situation and will often go for it on fourth down, even though you don't see it in real football, just because of how short these games are. We're only playing five-minute quarters instead of 15-minute quarters like you see in the NFL. So that just forces players to get a lot more aggressive because they know that they have a very limited amount of possessions. Juan paid for it right there. Costly though. turnover. Costly turnover in the middle of the field, but can he get a defensive play? Remember, Mini Mike's only run four plays in this game, but he scored on two of them. Yeah, and if you go back and you saw that YouTube video we told you to look at where he said, we said, look up Vinny Valvano Madden. And if you saw young Mini Mike in that video, you know, riding with his brother, making noise at like 10 years old, and you're not a fan, I don't want to do business with you. We got nothing to talk about. Second and three. For Mini Mike with the ball off the interception, up seven. Four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Now, if Mike scores here, Tuan has to make sure he doesn't press. Oh, is that how this turns into a flood? Uh, all I'm thinking about is when Vinny comes around asking. Uh, you know, Ooh. why you picked against Mini Ooh. Mike. I, I, I hope you got your explanation ready. The mush. <laughs> what a cop-out. The mush. <laughs> what a great cop-out. It wasn't you, thought, you, thought, you thought this through. Yes, you, you had I'm this all over it. This all through. over it. I should never I doubt could, you. I could not feel, I, I, I would feel terrible. You see what happened to the Cotastic. <laughs> I picked him. Yeah, Cotastic, you can blame Rico for that one. <laughs> yeah, I, Get it? Rick? Cotastic turned into a nightmare. <laughs> I see what you did. I will give. I can't handle this. Guy. I minute. like him better when he's in the players' lounge. <laughs> I don't know. He's kind of fun up here at the desk. I will say I talked to Cotastic off stream, and he said, "You know what, gee, that was embarrassing. But you guys didn't show the first game that I won 42 to seven. That's fair. And all I'm thinking is, who the heck did he play? <laughs> did you beat 42 to <laughs> seven? <laughs> Hey man, don't make fun of me. It was my first time playing in Madden. Second five. Hand off, nowhere going. Shout out to Cotastic, though. He was a cool dude, and like you said, he was just coming out here. He had never played on PlayStation. He enjoyed the experience, and you know what? That's what it's all about. They get to hang out at DreamHack the rest of the time. Yeah. That's what it's all about. He has not, nothing to be ashamed of. First ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack, and I'm sure it won't be the last. Nick Mazesco, RG, Rico Williams. Third down and three for Mini Mike, up seven. Big opportunity to get off the field on defense. Mahomes looks the oh, corner. He locked on it, and what he's going the doing? other way. Ricardo Allen with the pick. Oh, no, Manny. The, the smoke screen is sitting there right in front of you, begging you to throw it. The scramble's there. You're pretty much in field goal range. Two possession ball game. These are the decisions you cannot make, especially against a veteran like Antoine Pretty Boy Williams. We need a camera on Vinny right now. Because I can only imagine Vinny's face when he threw that. Oh, man. You Vinny's know, furious. Vinny's furious. And the funny part is, Mike was telling me how great he was, how much he was going to be the man to beat. And Vinny came in and did work. 
got out. He's ready. He's moving on to tomorrow. But he's just sitting there chilling, just waiting for his little bro to handle business. And to be fair, it's a lot of pressure on Mini Mike. A lot of expectation for a long time. His older brother being one of the most respected people, inspiring people in the Madden community. That puts some extra pressure oh, on you. Oh, Pitt go, go the Madden. other way. A bad decision by Pretty Boy, and he is up out of his chair. Can't believe that it, he had he had square open over the middle of the field, took the dangerous throw, and just like that, Minnie Mike back in action. There you go, Minnie. Way to stand back up for yourself. And if Vinny was sad before, I think he's all right right now. Oh yeah. He's in back like a proud coach. <laughs> as, as long as Mike is able to turn this into a two-possession ball game, you cannot get out of this situation right here without it being two possessions if you're mini Mike. Even if you don't score the touchdown, the field goal is essential. You'll take the touchdown, but you have to at least get the three. One of the things I was always proud about Vinny, he always managed the clock. He never beat himself. He never allowed himself. He never made any mental mistakes, mm -hmm. if anything like that. And you can tell that he's instilled that in Mike. Mike knew to take that down to the two-minute warning. He's playing smart. Now, I expect him to close out this half just like Vinny would. Second and six. Trips tight end. Mahomes hands it off. Williams in the middle. Big hit. But he holds on to the pigskin. Good hit right there from Tuan. And Tuan's shown some good stick work so far in this game. He's just made some bad reads. Black 58 Royal. Black 58 Royal. Third and four. You see the line pinched like that. You got to think if you're Mike, you're going to have time in the pocket unless he sends the goons. Definitely a two-man wow, rush. Gotta be all the smart. Way back. Gotta be smart. Throw it away if it's not there. Dude. You have Great to throw job. it away Take if away. it's not there. Oh, he's got triangle in the end zone. Oh. Incomplete pass. Boy, how about the user coverage downfield using that defensive lineman tack McKinley taking away three routes. Stick work was always one of Pretty Boy's strong suits. Ball is down, kick is up. It's a two-score game, 17-7. You see how old school Tuan is. He doesn't even come out in field goal block because back when he was playing the game, field goal blocks weren't allowed. <laughs> That's how old school he is. We used to have to put the control down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on field goals, exactly. Okay, why? Because when I tell you there were a million ways to, like, they were, they were tackling your holder. Yeah, we were literally, like, he wasn't blocking a kick. Blocking kick. We could sack your holder before you. <laughs> like, right now in Madden, it's designed. Like, if you, you, you got to time it, you get the animation, then you got to execute the block. Back in the day, there was no design block. If you were blocking a kick, you were doing it like a dirt bag. And chances were, if you could do it like a dirt bag, you could dirt bag every single time. So they had to create rules that were saying, hey, none of that dirt bagness. Put the controller down. That way, if it's a block, we know you didn't do any scum. Well, Madden history here at DreamHack Dallas. We're making history with the first ever Madden tournament hosted by DreamHack. Second and 10 for Pretty Boy. Steps up, downfield, picked off. We're going the other oh, way. Mini Mike. Mike with the third pick of the first half. The second one, I think you would call a questionable read at best. And once again, I'm not going to say I told you so. 17-7, he gets in the end zone again, 24-7. Wow. Another game that's not Keep close. This to us. Z, Z, Z. Z, Z, Z. Keep it close, please. It. Play action. It's looking tough right now, though. Looking downfield, he oh, challenges Bell the Lurk. user. You can't challenge that lurk. Oh, you no. can't challenge that lurk. Picked off. And right now, Mini Mike is lucky. We are now in the exotic headphone era of the bad <laughs> because there's no way on earth Tuan would not have jumped up and told him everything <laughs> that was wrong with that read and everything that was right about his defensive stand right there. He, he might be sparing uh, Mike a little bit just because of the respect he, he has for Vinny. Second and eight, 40 seconds and counting the first half. He's gonna drop out of the single back, drop back into the gun. My guy, soccer ball, two, two, three. He's asking in the chat, does anyone want to win this game, RG? I think they both want to win it. I, I don't know if either one of them could run away with it, though. Wow, well, you got to feel good if you're pretty boy, by the way. You've thrown three interceptions in the first half, and you're only down 10. Absolutely. It's a, it's a good point. And, and Twan's going to get the ball to start the second half. 25 seconds remaining, third and three for pretty boy. Dropping back. 
Got circled out. Oh, field. he's got he's him. Got this is a down field. It's Tevin Coleman inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. Pretty boy. He's sitting there and saying, hey, Rico, how about calm down? We might have ourselves a game. And here's what I'll tell you. He's absolutely right. He's going to go for this. He needs to be careful with only 15 seconds, boys. No turnovers here inside the red zone. We'll see if he line. went to the Vinnie Valvano School of Clock Management. He's got no timeouts, 15 seconds. This is a risky play here by Tuan if he gets tackled in bounce. He's going to have to sprint to the line to get the field goal off. Back of the end zone, high pass. Did he bring it down? Oh, Julio caught it and didn't get the feet in bounds. Almost a momentum-changing play for Pretty Boy. It's a good play, though, if it's one. Just trying to get Let's a high ball. for another ball. play. Holy Mongoli, give him a chance to make a play Bet back in the there end again. zone. Got to go there again. Can't right? throw a pick, though. You got to make this one possession if you're twined. You know when you get the ball at the start of the second half. Tip hey, drill pick. Wait. Heard it first here. No Rico over here calling for the tip drill pick. Second and ten. Ryan looking for oh. Julio. He's got it in the end zone. No. What a catch for Julio Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we may be heading to halftime with a one-score game. It's a good game here at DreamHack. What I tell you, Rico, and I'll tell you what, if you're mini, Mike, you gotta be He's a, dancing. You gotta be a little better on defense. Look at Twan swagging around. By the way, the, the wire that connects it is underneath him. They are terrified right now, production, that he's gonna wind up knocking <laughs> everything up. over. Oh no, we already had Rico step on the surge protector back here and turn off all the microphones. That was you? No, I did not. I was not responsible for the stream. It was just our mics for a second. It's just the mics. It was just our mics. Okay. I will say on that last defensive play by Mini Mike, he had three defenders over there on Julio. The problem was two of them are sitting underneath outside of the end zone, which is no man's land in that situation. He can throw a ball there all he wants. You need to protect the end zone. Look at this. So a mental mistake right there for Michael. Man up three deep defense. Old school. Told you he's old. And how about this? Two quarters to play. Ten minutes of game action. It's a three-point game with Pretty Boy getting the ball to start the second half. Funny thing is, if I think if you told Mike right now he'd be up three, kicking the ball off, he'd be happy to take this. If you told Tuan he'd be down three or even up three, he'd be disappointed. Why do you say that? I feel that Tuan feels like he's the far better player in this game. Tuan's always felt that. To be fair, Tuan's always had a, an obnoxious amount of confidence. Chambers over here. Jaybird getting ready to suit up on the side stream over there. Three-point game. Pretty boy with the ball. I think Jaybird was a great example of somebody this year. If you could really storm onto this community and get some recognition of oh, just that one big win. I mean, do you remember who called that after he beat Young Kim? Do you remember who called that Young Kim uh, upset? I have a guess. Uh, my guess, his name rhymes with Chico why, Williams. Why would you call it? Because he gave me. What did me you know about Jaybird? Everything. I told you I had to block him on all social media. I had to block him from my phone. All he was doing that entire month leading up to that is telling me Take how off. tough he was, how great he was, how he was I locked in. How was a big game speech. This wasn't a big game speech. This was different. Sounds like a big game speech. No, because here's the thing. This kid literally, he asked me to vouch for him to get him in the MWS room. He said, I'm ready. He was playing against everybody. <laughs> I had people telling me, like, hey, this kid has played more games than Volterax. Oh, gee, that, that was a lot of games. <laughs> he, was, he was the most prepared person you would ever see for that. And he got his chance. Took advantage of it. And he, he took advantage. He, he was did. like Rabbit. He, he had one did. shot. Definitely did he miss his chance? Rabbit. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yeah? Hey, yeah, he took advantage of it. He ended up on the CW special for that. He became, you know... A more common oh. name in the community. What a great, off of that win. great play here by Pretty Boy. He dumps 10. it off to wide open Devontae Freeman. Let's his stick skills do the work. Was that on third and ten? Third and ten. That, that's a very, you don't see a lot yeah, of people. Athlete throw be an athlete. You don't see a lot of people throw swing passes. And here's what I'll tell you: sometimes those swing passes are going to be easier to throw from the under center position than from the shotgun. That was a good play right there from Twan. First and ten, handoff to Freeman, left side. Oh, yeah, the lane just didn't have the stick work to make it happen. And, RG, you were, you were talking about how in Pretty Boy runs the ball effectively. Hasn't been great today. I've seen him miss a couple holes running the ball. Well, to be honest, he, I don't know. 
he, he had a very effective run game in Madden 05. But to be honest, after that, he, he was mainly known as a passer. Okay. He was a guy that would air the ball out a lot the years after that. It's just Madden 05, he was so good with that juke glitch and that spin glitch, he, he had no choice. He also had Michael ball. Bennett. Michael, 98 <laughs> speed. Michael Bennett. And he still had to worry about Randy Moss, Nate Burleson, and everybody had that thing run that shotgun five wide. Oh, so tough. Kids nowadays, they, they, they talk about some of these, like, how do you stop tactics? This? They got to deal with it. I mean, if you no have fatigue, to, there was no fatigue that year. Could have used fatigue because of the formation shift. Yes, glitch. yes. And then the, the, the spin, the juke. People who the, haven't played old Madden games don't understand the word so glitch. What like I, you guys are what talking, I'm talking about. about. The juke glitch was this tactic you could do with the juke move. Where oh, Freeman oh, has to go outside. He's juke glitching himself right now. Ooh, Ooh. kind of sticky right there. But what the juke glitch was in 05 was this tactic you can use with the juke where if you did it, you know, at the right timing, you could literally fake out every AI defender at will. You had to tackle these guys for the user ball carry. There was no clicking on and moving the defender in position and letting the AI. There was no AI making the tackle. And he used to wait and pause. He put his hand down in the backfield. Uh, it was tough. I used to be able to bet people. I'd say, hey, I'll run around in practice mode for a minute without getting touched. Put it on all Madden. They'd be like, there's no way. I just sit around juking in practice mode for a minute and the AI just couldn't touch it. And that's how RG became a millionaire, right there. He <laughs> made, won a lot of money. We were talking about Jaybird a little while ago. He's gonna be on our B game right now. Him and Sage VF Baby. Wave three is already starting. See these guys, they're, Ooh, my guru's down. talking about the stiff arm bug from, uh, they're talking about the truck glitch and Madden 20. Those things were tough. But I'll tell you, that was baby stuff compared to yeah. the juke glitch, man. The ju you hey, couldn't got, got. let the AI tackle the person. No you one had got to tired. Do it like and just player. imagine, you're worried about Michael Bennett. You had mobile Dante Culpepper as the quarterback. Moss. And then you had Randy Moss. Kelly Campbell, 95 speed. Yes. <laughs> I, think pretty, I think Pretty Boy might have heard me talking trash about his run game because Freeman's been the guy here on this drive. Yeah. Oh, the illest. It, that was twin fades. That was the, he's talking about Keyshawn Johnson and Joe Jaravicious. I rem, everybody remembers where they were Joey the first Jay. time they saw that unbumpable that twin fades around. Oh four, oh four. Yes, that was the 04 03, game. I think. No, no, that was 04. Second and nine. Because then, oh, 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 oh my he God! He jumped the screen. Oh, he was looking for that smoke screen one more time, and Eric Berry said, "Not so fast, my friend." All that drive, all that clock, no points for Pretty Boy. Still down three. Oh, that's rough for Twan. You're in field goal range. You can tie the ball game. Eric Berry, playmakers make plays, makes a huge one for Michael. But this one, you got to watch Kelsey. He's been the one that's destroyed you in this offense so far on that corner out. Oh, but look at the, finally the D-line getting to him. That's Tack that McKinley with the sack. That was a coverage sack. Everybody was locked up. I don't up. know. Mike had a cute little play right there. It seemed like he motioned the post, and he had a little scissors concept with Kelsey running a corner route and the circle wide receiver, which is Watkins, running a post over the middle. Watkins looked like he was going to get separation, but took too long. Took too long. And off up the middle. It's a cute little play, though, if you can buy the time. How about this third and eight? We've seen the user from Pretty Boy on defense be incredibly good. He's been coming close to the line with either Neal or McKinley and dropping back, taking away corner outs. Can he do it again? Third down and eight. Trips tight end once again. Hill wide left. Watkins in the slot. Conley between the two. Williams on the right hip of Patty Mahomes. Travis Kelsey, the lone player on the right side of that line. Hill coming in motion from left to right. Mahomes dropping back. Mahomes rolling out. Look at deep down the field. Hill got open. Big hit, but he holds on to the ball. First down for Mini Mike. What a hit by Twan. Mike fortunate that Hill able to hold on to that ball because Twan cracked him after that. They are playing Madden football. Hey, I did this is a fours great one. Do up, I know fours up. We're heading to the fourth quarter. 17, 14. We got a three-point game in the fourth quarter. Do I know a good one when I see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. What'd I tell you? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Five minutes left in this game. Handoff, Williams, left side. A little bit of a hole. He'll pick up four. 
That has to hurt Pretty Boy right now. He's still thinking about that last pick he threw. And now as Mike runs the ball and takes that clock and makes it tougher and tougher. Welcome, welcome to the dangers of timing routes, though. That's the thing. If you're throwing a timing route, it's a blind throw to the right side, and you just got to hope your guy's there. Well said, Nick. If it's one, the thing that you got to be happy about right here, oh, no, you got is Mike only being up three, it's okay for you to let up the field goal. You just can't let up the touchdown in this situation, which allows you to play defense a lot more comfortably. You can go to a bend but don't break style. We know it gets stingy out there in the red zone. He has all three timeouts. He's going to have plenty of time to get the ball back. It is, it is just pivotal, pivotal for Twan right now that he doesn't let up the touchdown and holds him to three points at the most. Mini Mike has been doing it with the run game. One more time, cuts Ooh, it back. Stick work. Winding and weaving. He'll pick up 10. There's no need to hike this ball early. No. None whatsoever. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, I've been in this situation. You know what it is. It's the unknown. Not knowing that, am I going to be able to make this a two-possession ball game? He's going to have the ball. He's going to be able to get the ball back. Is he going to be able to score and win by one point and not leave me enough time? You, you can really get yourself in a mental pretzel in this situation if you're mini Mike because there is a lot of unknowns in this game. Expect to see once again Hill come in motion, handoff to Williams. Has to be a run, right? Oh, yeah. A good time to play action, though. He's got everyone in the box. Oh, he's going to throw it. Mahomes. Good it's coverage three, downfield. And it's an incomplete pass. Third and one, it stops the clock. I like that play, though, from Mini Mike. A lot of people don't know it, but some of the best Madden players in the world, they pick up big chunks of yardage when you get them in that second and one, third and one situation, because they know the defense is playing the run. Let me use this opportunity while the flats are in hard flats instead of cloud flats to attack deep down the field. That's what Michael tried to do right there, just wasn't able to execute. Third and just a yard. It's going to be Mahomes throwing it one more time. Standing alone is Hill. Big hit at the 34-yard line. He's going to lose two on the play and a fourth down decision for Minnie Mike. Tack McKinley with the first down saving tackle. Juan standing up. Kicking remember, that field goal. Remember what we talked to you about earlier? One Walk of the drive. best trash talkers. He looks like he's letting Mike hear about it. Ooh. It's close. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. It's going to be close. Okay. Ball is down. The kick is up. It. Oh, it sneaks oh, in the upright. Good. Under three to go, and we got our first squat drive of the day, boys. Yeah. Oh, I'm still going with the double-digit victory. Yeah, you're crazy. You're the worst. Okay, just remember, when Mike gets to stop and scores again, just remember you heard it first here. So, so you're completely selling your Twan stock at this point. I told you that was the reverse mush jinx. Don't worry, Rico Williams will not be with us the next two days. <laughs> As we will leave him at Papa Do's. It's Papa Do's. I don't care. It's Papa Don't. I don't think I can go back. Ooh. Hey, my way. Oh, I had a bad experience. I've had many good experiences, but the last time that, uh, what is it, that fondue put, put me out, out of commission. The shrimp and crawfish fondue. It put me down, man. 242 and counting. Good pocket. Like Finds Freeman on the pass. swing. Pick up a first down. He's using that swing effectively because there's nobody nice. over on that side of the field. Yeah, it's nice. A lot of people don't use the swing route. When you do, you can't really get yards out of it. It's not very effective uh, in competitive matter, but Twan using it very effectively in this under center single back trio formation. I I'm liking it. Let us know in the chat. One's up if Pretty Boy gets it done. Two's up if Mini Mike pulls out the victory. Throw over the middle. Had him. Lucky that overthrow didn't end up in the defender's hands, second and ten. Muck Guru in the chat, he said, Papa's in San Francisco with my guy Rico was the GOAT. <laughs> I did have a good Papa Do's experience with my guy Muck Guru and DG the third, Donnie Greenfield. But we were in uh, Houston, it was that year for the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. We were all there. Second and ten. Switch to a bunch to the left side, Ridley alone on the right side. Now, Julio alone on the left side. Punch on the right side. Freeman in the backfield. Juan just committed to staying under center, huh? Ooh, there's the danger. 206 and counting, 205. Looks like we're going to hit the two minute warning and a key third down upcoming. Just 
been such a good game, Nick. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we came to DreamHack for. Ball games like this. Third and 13. We see maybe a swing here. He can get him 10 yards. That'll certainly put him in business. All right, and don't forget, Pretty Boys 2-0. and oh. Mini Mike's 1-1. One and one. This would put them both at 2-1. and one. Not sure what else is going on in their group, but this could be some tie breaker. Uh, well, I think McKinley's status went 3-0, and oh, so he's going to advance in the he group. He couldn't have went 3-0 if Twan's 2-0. Oh. oh, yeah, McKinley's status. Yeah, he lost. Up spin move but... by Coleman. Get him the first down. You're right. What a sticky spin there by Pretty Boy, and he picks up the first, the second, third back it's going to depend on what happened to mckinley's other game yeah, because he'd be one he's definitely one and one and he's probably playing now yeah i think he's going to win that game so three two and ones with mike beating twan it's going to go to beat mckinley go to mckinley beating him play action point. pass Sport. ryan he's looking left side has him that's calvin ridley inbounds and out of bounds at the 37 yard line minute 27 to go yeah we can't count our chickens before they hatch here because twan Looking okay. to go 3-0 and in this group if he can finish this prolific drive and keep Minnie from getting any more points. First and 10, 37 yards away from Pater. He brought the goose, he oh. gets it off, he finds Julio for a first down. God, I love good Madden games. And he needs seven here, though. Three does not help him. He can get down all he wants. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your grandma to tune on in. A minute nine and counting, it's a six point game. Pretty boy with the ball, nearing the one minute mark. Now under a minute to go, needing six. Here in the group stage, hands off to Freeman, big hole, pick up nine. Remember what I was telling you about Mini Mike too, Rico. You get nervous about milking the clock down because of situations like this. You, you know if I get stopped by three, do I want to give him the last possession, give him a chance to go up one and not give myself any time to respond? Second and two. Why not give it to Freeman one more time? Pick up the first down of the 14. Uh, hurry up offense. Oh, my gosh. I don't know this is this intense, up. boys. 14 yards from tying this game up and getting an extra point to win it. Under 40 seconds. Mike's gone on his D-line, man. He caught it! It's He's a touchdown! It. Julio Jones comes up with another big catch. How about that for double-digit game, Rico Williams? Uh, he has to make this uh, extra point. Who stands is better, Twans or Julio's? Oh, you definitely got to go with Twans. Twan. <laughs> Oh, man, he's going to kick the extra point. Mini Mike going to have 36 seconds to respond. Get himself in the field goal range. Got him to jump. You got to kick it now. Kick is up. It is good. Pretty boy with 36 seconds left takes a one-point lead. Did I reverse jinx, jinx Mini Mike by calling it the big game speech? Oh, I don't know. Mike, all I know is he's had some trouble in those key red zone situations. Forgot to double Julio earlier in the game, and this situation gets caught on his defensive lineman. Twan takes advantage of it, goes back to the playmaker, Huli Monguli, probably the best wide receiver in all of regs. Got it? No, in regs. Oh, you're Julio. Right. I agree. Julio's that guy in regs. He absolutely is. There we go. Mini Mike, the brothers Valvano, the brother to the miracle man, Vin Valvano, Madden legend. Mini Mike grew up in this environment. He grew up watching players like Pretty Boy, watching his brother battle against them. And now here he is in the hot seat on the guap drive, going for the glory. As long as you have Tyreek Hill, you have a chance. And he's got two timeouts as well. Hill in motion from left to right. Mahomes dropping back. Might have coverage Tyreek. downfield. Oh, he was going to try to let that rip to Tyreek Hill. And all he needs is three. He has to remember that. Yep. It's easy to get in this situation and just want to get it out the way, go for the gusto. But Twan says no. Only 30 seconds remaining. Boy, what a drive. It's a great game so far. Neither one of these players is disappointed. 21-20, 30 seconds left. Mahomes stepping up, looking underneath. Finds Kelsey, breaks one tackle, gets clobbered. Ball comes out, but it goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line. It's going to set up a third and two. Getting out of bounds was huge right there. Allows Mike to keep both timeouts. 
Now, do you get the first down here, or are you still looking to pick up a chunk? I I'm thinking first down, especially with the two timeouts, but you can't be scared to go for the chunk either. This is a tough spot, Rico. Third and two. Trips to the left side. Kelsey on the right side. One point game. Got to get just inside the 40 yard line, it looks like, to have a chance at a field goal. Play action pass, Mahomes. Waiting. Looking. Might, Might have, have a man. Oh, it's always picked off. Did he get the pick? Keanu Neal with the Walk interception. Pretty boys back. The old school, the savvy veteran with a pick down the field. And he just sealed himself a 3-0 record and a win. Here in the final game of Wave 2. We're going to get a challenge? We're going to get a little boost no, they, review they action? They don't challenge a competitive. Ah, well, then, you know, tough nuggets, I guess. No, no challenges in competitive game style. They, they, the game just tries to make the right call. Am I allowed to say I called it pretty well? No, because no, you also said it was going to be a double-digit game. So sit on down. No problem. Just, just say. Uh, I think it's one right there. Why even? Fall down. Points. He didn't he realize. He's talking about he's still thinking about seeding. He's 3-0. and oh. No, he's 3-0. Oh. So, but to get the Have buy we found out how play? we figured out who gets the buy yet? I think they told him more points. That's why Kratobin said he was still putting up points. Oh, man. Uh, look, look at the at respect on stage. Absolutely. GG's in the chat because it finally was a GG. A one-point win for Pretty Boy. He finishes groups 3-0. and oh. Yeah, and then the ultimate sportsmanship, the two of them guys talk, and they have history. They know each other from way back. You got to love this. This is what you got to like about men. This is These competitive men at its best. Yeah, that's what it's all about right there. And... You got to love the old school factor of Twan coming out. Look at him. He <laughs> He's flexing on him. <laughs> yes. The firm is back. I know somewhere. Sherm, T-Roy, Houshu, even Chow is somewhere right now with a little bit of a, aw, way to go. Cheyenne, fool, let's not forget. They were tough. I mean, Twan going 3-0 and in a group that has guys like McKinley, Status, Mini, Mike. I mean, that's a that's tough guy. He may be back. I cannot wait to keep my eyes on Twan throughout this tournament. Dance Look at him swagging around in his backyard. He is a grown, born and raised, grown up in Texas. Awesome. Yep. And where we have it, this 